Oh, empty. <sighs> so thirsty. Nah. Hey, it's Tuesday. It's the worst Tuesday ever. It's 6.51 p.m. It's 86 degrees, and I should not be here, but I have a conference call in 10 minutes at 7 o'clock. Who has a 7 o'clock conference call? Um, people who have meetings in involving people from other parts of the world. I think it's China that was the folks that were making this be such a weird time, which is weird because I'm pretty sure it's really early in the morning in China, so perhaps everyone is equally miserable. Who's presenting at this thing? Uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Maybe it's Australia. Anyway, I'm here. And I'm not going to wait until after work to do this. So I'm going to do this now. And then I'm going to do some more work later. And then I'm going to go home. Now. Oh, so behind. Who schedules this stuff uh, the night of the Major League Baseball All-Star Game? I ask you. People who don't like baseball or don't care about baseball. I'm actually a person who doesn't care about baseball too, but... It's a convenient thing to complain about. Did you watch the Home Run Derby? Wasn't that exciting? Truly Chris Berman's finest moments of the entire year when he does that same shtick he's been doing for years, when he says back a gazillion times, when he says that ball's in and he makes a geographical reference to wherever they happen to be. And best of all, when he gives a funny nickname that no one would ever use in real life to a baseball player. Oh, the love of the, his craft. Mm. Of course, I'm fun because I was on Twitter and it was about 90% against. So I'm in good company there in not liking it. I remember when I used to like watch the Home Run Derby and I would tape Raw. That's how important it was. You know, I would wait on Raw to find out how the Home Run Derby turned out. And last night, 7.55 came around. I'm in the central time zone, so Raw starts at 8 for me. Right to Raw. And never turned back. And never found out who won. And never really cared. Which is sad, because this time it counts. Perhaps not. I just want the National League to win. I'm still a National League guy, which makes no sense now because ostensibly I'm a Twins fan, although I'm not really much of a baseball fan at all. But if I were to root for a team, it would probably be the Twins. They're not in the National League, are they? No. But I just have such fond memories of NL teams. My favorite team, the Expos, long gone. Giants went to a lot of Giants games. Padres went to a lot of Padres games. Dodgers went to one Dodgers game in college. I went to a lot more Padres games, which was weird because San Diego was several hours away from Riverside. Well, Los Angeles was several hours away, depending on how the traffic was, so I guess it's not that big of a surprise. One of my roommate's friends was friends with Andy Bennis, so there were a lot of Padres trips with uh, comp seats that were really bad. We were better off going there and buying our own seats. And I'm not sure, I may have, I may have been to every Padres opening day while I was in college. I know it was at least two or three of them. Yeah. Even though I was supposed to be going to classes which explains how I ended up uh, here. What is it, phone? What are you trying to tell me? Timmy fell down the well? I have a meeting in five minutes? I knew that. I have no idea what I was just notified about. Oh, you know what? I hope you're watching, Otto, because you brought this up. Uh, they do move. Let's see. I hope LHL doesn't stand for some kind of drug or something. I don't know what it stands for. Yeah, 
that's easily probably my most fun birthday present from my wife. Those, excuse me, LED, LED magnets, seven segment magnets. And I still need to get a couple extra sets so I can make more fun words and things, I think. Thinking of auto reminds me that Saturday it was an SDW card and match three of the best of seven series between Colt Caban and Adam Pierce for the NWA Heavyweight Championship. And I stayed home and watched the NASCAR race instead. The heat wave hadn't yet broken. And I thought, I don't know if I want to be sitting in a gym in Hopkins at, what was it? 50 bucks a pop for the really good seats, but at least probably 25 bucks a pop for the good seats that weren't the best seats. So I didn't spend any money, and I stayed home in relative discomfort because it was hot inside the house, too. Although Saturday things kind of kind of broke. There was a little bit of rain, and the temperature plummeted. You know the old story. Google Accounts is in such a rush to get my phone uh, number, and I don't want to give it to them. they got to stop asking me. I'm stalling while I log into YouTube to find uh, Otto's uh, comment. Otto said, are those magnetic numbers new, or have I just not noticed them? They are new as of my birthday, which was June 7th. So there have been around about a month, which is probably how long it's been since you've watched a video. Thanks for letting me know. I just noticed it set to the current video number. I just mentioned it now, so the comment is moot. That's my second favorite shirt of yours. That was my Space Invaders knockoff from Target. Thank you. Enjoy Raw. I want to hear about it today. No, you don't. Raw sucked. Everybody loved that opening segment. I'm probably the only person that didn't. And... Everybody hated the rest of the show, and I joined them in hating the rest of the show. It's, uh, I don't want to say ironic, but when that laptop went off, I said, okay, if they pay off that angle, I can forgive almost anything. And then they proceeded to commit unforgivable segment after unforgivable segment, and the payoff was Hornswoggle. And what I should have said was, I can forgive anything unless the reveal is Hornswoggle. But that was my mistake. I, I shan't be making it again. Wrestling. Oh my goodness. It's no good. I know there were comments on the W also. And I, I'm down to two minutes and I'm going to be late for this meeting too. In fact, let me call the meeting while I'm talking to you. Look, I'm multitasking. Welcome to Global Meet. Yes. Please enter your passcode followed by the pound or hash key. Uh oh. Please hold while I confirm your passcode. I'm going to put too many numbers nine, in there. Ah, five. Nuts. Nine. Eight. Please hold Dial while the phone. I confirm It's not rocket science, code. people. Thank you. Your passcode is confirmed. When you hear the tone, you will be the fifth person to join the meeting. Hi, it's Chris. They'll start later. And I have a minute to go. Uh, Doug misses my ties. I'm on mute, so they can't hear me. Uh, I will not be wearing ties anytime soon. I'm sorry. Uh, Minnesota State Fair coming up. I saw that list from several weeks ago was finally posted. This is crap. I will probably send me. not have Hello. the lamb testicles, so as intriguing for, uh, as it sounds. The thing I'm interested in is the pizza dough with the cheeseburger inside. And But, you know, I've fallen for them before. I think they're the same people that did the Reuben on a stick a couple years ago. So, I don't know. But like I promised, whatever new stuff I have, I will document, whether it's pictures or videos, touts. WWE's using tout, by the way. That's kind of crazy. The WWE social action, whatever. Yeah, Greg's uh, trying to encourage me to write. Good luck. Normally I would kill time like one of these conference calls writing, but that's not going to happen because I have to actually do another work.
Everybody's on this call. It's going to start pretty soon. And I'm over time. We're going to start in a couple minutes. That's my friend Steve. Hi. Who may or may not watch this. Uh, looking forward to the return of CRZ on the VU. You were so looking forward to it, you forgot to ask me a question. Please ask me a question over on VU. I'll take care of the rest of this later, I guess. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully we'll be back to normal tomorrow. Uh, otherwise, uh, what is normal? I don't know. You think about that, and I'll teach you tomorrow. <laughs>